Henrietta Lacks was an African-American woman born and raised in Virginia. For her entire life, she was poor and worked on a family tobacco farm while making caring for the one she loved her number one priority. She married her cousin, David Lacks, whom she commonly called Day. They had four children, Elsie, who was special needs, Lauren, Stebra, and Joe. After discovering she had cervical cancer, Henrietta's life became difficult in a way that no one could have ever expected. With Henrietta being an African-American woman, scientists didn't think twice about helping themselves to her rightfully owned cervical cancer cells for research. What they discovered was a miracle to all mankind. Henrietta's cancerous HeLa cells were not only immortal, but reproduced at a very fast pace, and went on to make billions from creating life-changing solutions, such as multiple cures including the polio vaccine. After Henrietta's death, her family was manipulated and lied to about the situation of her cells. They continued to live harsh lives, dealing with everything from jail time, to mental wards, to unwanted incest and disrespect, all without receiving a penny of Gila's funds or any kind of recognition. Two major themes present in the immortal life of Henrietta Lacks are racism and medical rights. Because of the common act of black discrimination during Henrietta's time, her and her family were taken advantage of. Scientists would lie to them in order to get them to agree to blood withdrawals for further research that would have no benefit to them at all. Scientists would use Henrietta and her family's collected cell de data to conduct research without their consent, going against all legal medical rights. These issues still exist in the world today. They may be more strictly illegal or less common, but they still take a large toll on the world's population. Author Rebecca Sklute helped the Lacks family progress in regaining the rights that their mother originally deserved, all while completing the major accomplishment of piecing together a book. Through pure persistence and determination, Sklute met with Henrietta's family members and friends and helped them to understand the reality of the situation. In Henrietta's honor, the Lacks family decided not to give up until their family's name was properly recognized and given what was rightfully theirs all along. Rebecca Sklute's genuine interest and passion to help the family helped her develop a purpose for her book. That purpose was to give Henrietta and the Lacks family the recognition they deserved by telling the story behind the HeLa cells, where they originally came from and how they came to be. Not only is Sklute spreading the word of the truth, but she is bringing peace to Henrietta Lacks and everyone who has ever cared or cares for her.